Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Mithril. And today we have another video in our five minute basing series. We have a mountain, mine and rocky base, which we're gonna be showing you how to make today. Now with this, we decided to add a little bit of texture to our base. So we used a little bit of cork board and created a little rocky plinth, just as a nice little scenic area for an old stand -off. Once we put our cork on the base, we covered the base with PVA glue in a nice smooth layer, as uniform as possible we can do to avoid any unsightly lumps and bumps in the sand. And then we submerged it in fine modeling sand, making sure the entire base is covered with sand and then we just wiped away any of the excess and left this to dry. We then gave our base a thorough spray with Citadel Chaos Black spray paint, making sure we get all around the cork and all around the sand. Now when it comes to painting our rocky bases, we're going to start with a very, very liberal dry brush of Mechanica Standard Grey. Make sure we get all around the sides of the cork. The cork texture is a little bit uneven, so make sure you get all the way around. And with the top of the cork base as well, because there's no actual defined texture, it will look quite flat at this stage, but don't worry, this won't be the case once you finish dry brushing. When you're happy with your base layer and you've got good coverage around the whole base, we're going to apply a second dry brush now, slightly lighter, using Administratum Grey. It's quite a tonal shift between the Mechanica Standard and the Administratum, but trust us, this progression of paints really work. Make sure we get all around the sides of the cork base as well, and it will really help to amplify the slight bluey hue of the Mechanica Standard, as now we're using quite light greys and it will look really rich and almost midnight stony. When we're finished, leading up to our final dry brush stage, using Ulthran Grey. At this stage, we're looking at just a very light dry brush over all the sand and the edges of the cork board, which will just help to pick out the edges of the rock face and the tips of the sand, just to make it pop a little bit more. Now we're gonna add a little bit of texture to our rocky mountain base in the form of some rock debris. Now you can use actual um, basing rocks for this, but we found a really nice cheap alternative way of doing it. Uh, we're gonna use off cuts of sprue. Now any sprue is good enough. You can literally cut this into any shape you want and it will be great, look great once it's finished and textured up as rock debris. And we've started to dot this round uh, on the base in random patterns. You can make big chunks, small chunks, create a nice degree of variation, but make sure all the areas are dry before we move on to the painting. We then applied a base coat to all the rock debris with Abaddon Black. We didn't apply and paint this at the same time as the rest of the base, as we wanted to make sure we got all around the cork base and got nice even coverage over the rest of the detail on the base. We then applied a solid base coat with Mechanica Standard Grey again, so the tone and hue of the rocks match that of the base. We then follow the similar progression with the rock debris as we do with painting the base. Start with a fairly heavy dry brush over the rock debris now with Administratum Grey. This way it doesn't matter too much if we bleed out onto the finished base as we're using the same paints and tones, so it won't look like too much of a blemish if we do happen to bleed out. To make them pop a little bit more against the tones of the base, we followed up with a feather like dry brush of pallid witch flesh over the top. Now this will just pick out on the sharper edges we use from the side cutters and make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing against the hues and tones we've used for the main bulk of the base. When you're finished, you should end up with something that looks just like this. We finished off our base with a solid line of Abaddon Black just to paint the rim of the base. And when you're finished, you should have a base suitable for any kind of rocky, mountain or mine type environment, eagerly awaiting the model to be placed on top. We hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for future content, and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys. Happy hobbying.